The eLearning Center at Prince Sultan University present this tutorial on how to add assignments on your Moodle course. Follow these step-by-step -step instructions to quickly add assignments to your course. First, start by accessing your course page and click on Edit Mode from the top right corner. Then, locate the part on your course page where you wish to add the assignment. Next, click on Add an Activity or Resource. After accessing the activities list, select assignment. In the general section, you can write the necessary information for your assignments. Firstly, you can here enter the assignment name, which is required to be filled. This will be displayed on your course page. Secondly, you have the option to add a description, which is an optional feature. Here, you can enter a concise summary of the assignment along with any pertinent instructions. You can also choose to display this description on the course page by selecting this option below the description field. Next within the general settings, in the activity instructions part, you can provide the actions you would like the student to complete for this assignment. Please note that these instructions are only shown on the submission page where a student edits and submits their assignment. Following that, in the additional files part, you have the option to add any additional files for use in the assignment, such as answer template. Furthermore, you can choose to only show files during submission by selecting the below option under the above mentioned field. This ensures that students can only access the assigned files during the submission process. Moving on to the following section within assignment settings, availability, you will find four important parts. First option is allow submissions from date. This option allows you to choose a specific date from which students will be allowed to start submitting their assignments. By enabling this option, you ensure that students cannot submit their assignments before the specified date. If this option is disabled, students will be able to start submitting right away. Second option is the due date. Here you can set the deadline for the assignment. This is the date by which all submissions should be made. Although submissions will still be accepted after this date, any assignments submitted beyond the due date will be marked as late. Third option is the cutoff date. Here, if you specify a cutoff date, the assignment will no longer accept submissions beyond that date, unless an extension is granted. This can be useful when you need to enforce a strict submission deadline. Fourth option is Remind Me to Grade By. Here you can utilize this feature to indicate the expected date for marking the submissions. By providing this information, Moodle will prioritize dashboard notifications for teachers, reminding them to complete the grading process by the specified date. In the Submission Type section, you can choose from two options, online text and file submissions. If you enable file submissions, each student can upload a certain number of files for their submission. You can set the maximum number of files allowed. Additionally, you have the flexibility to specify the file size limit. By default, the maximum file size for uploads is 200 megabytes, which is generally suitable for handling complex files. However, you can adjust this limit to a lower value if necessary. Accepted file types can also be controlled by entering a list of file extensions. If left empty, all file types are allowed for submission. In the following part, there is a section called Submission Settings, where you can configure how students submit their assignments. In the first part, there is an option called Require Students to Click the Submit button. And when enabled, students must click a submit button to declare their submission as final. This allows them to keep a draft version of their submission on the system. If changed from no to yes after students have already submitted, their previous submissions will be regarded as final and cannot be edited. Another option in this section is, require that students accept the submission statement. Enabling this option mandates that students accept a submission statement for all submissions to this assignment. Moving on to the third part, there is an additional attempts option. This setting determines if and how students can make multiple attempts at the assignment. The options are 1. 
Never, only one attempt is possible, and no further attempts can be made. 2. Manually, teachers can allow additional attempts on a case-by-case -case basis. 3. Automatically until pass, students can make additional attempts until they achieve the passing grade set for this assignment. Lastly the group submission settings, section which allows you to configure how group submissions are handled. If enabled, the group submission option divides students into groups based on the default set of groups or a custom grouping. With group submissions, a single submission is shared among all members of the group. This means that all members have access to the submission and can see each other's changes to it. Lastly, click on Save and Display to finalize the process and add the assignments on your Moodle course. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching. Please don't hesitate to contact us for further support.